Later, Thomas chuffed into the coaling plant. And there was Hector. The other trucks giggled and laughed. <laughs> Big, bad, strong and solid. That truck's name is Hector the Horrid, they sang. Thomas puffed closer. Keep away, roared Hector. Bill and Ben were right, thought Thomas. Hector is scary, and Hector is horrid. Thomas decided to keep away. Thomas spent the morning shunting the other freight cars and filling them with coal. All the time, Thomas could feel Hector the Horrid watching him. The coaling plant manager came to see Thomas. We need an extra large delivery, he said, so Rosie is coming to help you. You must shunt and fill Hector. Then add him to the back of James's train, he told Thomas. Later, Rosie puffed into the yard. She saw Hector. Wow, do we have to shunt and fill that big truck, Thomas? She asked sweetly. Yes, puffed Thomas, but he doesn't want to be shunted. His name is... But before Thomas could finish, Hector opened his mouth and let out the biggest roar ever. Keep away! He bellowed. Rosie was so surprised, she shook from funnel to footplate, and she steamed straight out of the yard. This made Thomas cross. Hector had biffed and bashed Bill and Ben. He had shouted at Thomas, and he had frightened Rosie so much that she had puffed away. Now the extra delivery would never be ready. Thomas had had enough. He puffed up bravely in front of Hector and gave him a mighty bit. Hector rolled backwards. He was very cross. Keep away, he roared. No, I won't, tooted Thomas crossly. You are causing confusion and delay. You really are horrid. Then, with one mighty biff, Thomas sent Hector rolling backwards into a set of buffers. Hector crashed off the track. Thomas felt very bad. He hadn't meant to knock Hector over. Thomas puffed up to Hector. Hector lay on his side, looking very sad. Now Hector didn't seem so horrid. I'm sorry I biffed you so hard, wished Thomas. But why don't you want to be shunted? Because I'm scared, moaned Hector. Why, asked Thomas. I'm new, he groaned. And I'm scared because I haven't been filled with cold before. I don't know what it feels like. That's why I didn't want to be shunted, he added. Thomas was surprised. 